Pressure after chamber pressure nominal. From a tighter packed flight schedule, over the massive updates that await the Starship, all the way to more complex ISS crewed missions and lunar space services, as well as many other ambitious missions and plans, all of this is what SpaceX expects to achieve in 2025. And this will all put SpaceX at the forefront of the entire space industry, rivaling and even, in some segments, beating out NASA. The first and the biggest news we need to tackle are the various improvements made to the Starship. First of all, the company has ended 2024 with four Starship launches and now aims to accelerate its flight cadence in 2025. For this year, SpaceX plans to transition from test flights to operational missions with the Starship. These missions will include deploying large constellations of Starlink satellites, delivering cargo to the ISS, and conducting lunar flybys. Sure, these missions will not be of any real significance logistically, however, they will be a testament of the Starship's usability as well as how advanced it has gotten. The company is also working on refining the spacecraft's heat shield technology to ensure safe re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere, a critical component for the vehicle's reusability. Additionally, advancements to the Raptor engine, which powers the Starship, are underway to enhance performance and reliability. In addition to that, Flight 7, which is scheduled for early January, will mark the first ever Starship Block 2 use. And this will translate into both much cheaper production, as well as a considerably increased number of flights made. Speaking of which, SpaceX aims to significantly increase the frequency of Starship launches in 2025, with plans to conduct up to 25 orbital launches of the Starship system throughout the year. To support this ambitious launch cadence, SpaceX is expanding its Texas Starbase facility. The expansion includes the construction of a second launch tower, enhancing the site's capacity for frequent launches. The new tower will mirror many design elements of the first one, incorporating lessons learned from the initial Starship's launch attempts. Standing at over 400 feet tall, this tower will house the chopstick arms used for stacking and potentially catching returning boosters, streamlining the launch process and reducing turnaround times, as well as the overall cost. Additionally, SpaceX is investing in advanced ground support equipment to facilitate rapid fueling and refurbishment of Starship vehicles. This includes the development of automated systems for propellant loading and integration, aiming to minimize human intervention and increase operational efficiency. The company is also enhancing its data analysis capabilities to monitor vehicle performance in real time, enabling swift identification and resolution of any anomalies during the flight operations. Apart from the Starship, the crewed missions to the ISS will also become considerably more complex. The first of these missions is the Crew-9 mission, which will return to Earth in March. This is important because Despite being a 2024 mission, it will mark the return of Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore, both of which were stranded on the ISS for a year at that point because of the Boeing Starliner's malfunction. Prior to that though, in February 2025, SpaceX is scheduled to launch the Crew-10 mission to the ISS. This mission will transport four crew members, two NASA astronauts, Annie McLean and Nicole Ayers, Yaksa astronaut Takuya Onishi and the Roscosmos cosmonaut Kirill Peskov. This mission is planned to last approximately 150 days, contributing to the ongoing scientific research and international collaboration aboard the ISS. The Crew-10 mission will utilize a new design Dragon spacecraft, marking the fifth in its series. This spacecraft incorporates the latest technological advancements to ensure crew safety and mission success. The crew will have the honor of naming the capsule, continuing a tradition reserved for inaugural flights. 
during their stay, the Crew-10 astronauts will engage in a variety of scientific experiments aimed at advancing our understanding of space biology, physics, and Earth sciences. These experiments include studies on muscle atrophy in microgravity, investigations into fluid dynamics in space, and deployment of small satellites for Earth observation. The mission will also involve maintenance and upgrades to the ISS, ensuring the station remains a viable platform for future research and international cooperation. But before that, in mid-January, SpaceX is set to launch Firefly Aerospace Blue Ghost Lunar Lander as part of NASA's Commercial Lunar Payload Services, or CLPS, program for short. The mission, named Ghost Riders in the Sky, a name taken from a song, will deliver 10 NASA payloads to the lunar surface, focusing on scientific experiments and technology demonstrations. This mission represents a significant step in NASA Artemis program aiming to establish a sustainable human presence on the moon. The data collected will inform future missions and contribute to our understanding of lunar conditions. The Blue Ghost Lander is designed to operate for a full lunar day, which is approximately 14 Earth days, during which it will deploy its payloads across a designated landing site. These payloads include instruments to measure the lunar surface temperature, seismic activity sensors to detect moon quakes, and technology demonstrations for in situ resource utilization, such as extracting oxygen from lunar regolith. The mission will provide critical insight into the moon's environment, aiding in the development of technologies necessary for sustained human exploration. That said, lunar conquest and trips to the ISS aren't the only things SpaceX is going to achieve this year. Oh no, they also intend on deploying their own space stations that will serve as an incredibly important checkpoint for the future of space conquest as a whole. SpaceX is collaborating with private aerospace company VAST to launch the Haven 1 space station. The inaugural mission, VAST-1, is planned for August 2025, and a Space Falcon 9 rocket will carry a Crew Dragon spacecraft with four astronauts to Haven 1 station for a 30-day stay. During their mission, the crew will conduct various experiments related to science and in-space manufacturing. Notably, Haven 1 is designed to generate artificial gravity through rotation, providing valuable data for future long-duration missions. The Haven 1 station is envisioned as a modular habitat, capable of docking with additional modules in the future to expand its capacity and functionality. The station's design incorporates advanced life support systems, radiation shielding, and autonomous operation capabilities, reducing the need for constant ground control intervention. The artificial gravity experiment aims to mitigate the adverse effects of prolonged weightlessness on the human body, such as bone density loss and muscle atrophy, by simulating Earth-like gravity conditions. Success in this endeavor could pave the way for a more sustainable human presence in space, particularly for mission to Mars and beyond. And while these plans seem overly ambitious to you, and yeah, it is certain that SpaceX will fail or delay some of them. Achieving even half of what they planned would be impressive, let alone achieving most of it. And to be honest, this time we do believe that Elon and his company are actually doing the work and homework they planned out for 2025. And while yes, it is highly possible that the 25 launch schedule might get well, a little lesser, and yes, there will most certainly be delays, what is definitive is the biggest and the most impactful change of them all, which is the massive changes to the Starship itself. And if you would like to learn more about that, be sure to check out this video.